Hi everyone and welcome to another Geekanoids 3D printing video and yes you can see the Ultimaker 2 sitting behind me here on the table I was planning on starting my journey in 3D printing with something very simple maybe some little trinkets maybe little sort of discs or coins there's plenty that you can download from the Thingiverse website and print on your Ultimaker 2 but it is my wedding anniversary coming up in a few days time so I'm going to try something a little bit more extravagant that I can hopefully turn into a gift for my wife. Okay we are now ready to print a vase hopefully we've got the SD card in the slot we're going to select print and then these are all of the various files on the card we're going to go down to Julia vase here we go So what it's actually doing now is just heating up the print head and when it reaches the correct temperature it should spring into action. So here we go, it is just getting ready to print. It doesn't look right though, it's all just going around the top of the nozzle, look. But it is printing on the bed of the printer, so that's weird why it all comes out funny. Anyway, this is printing in a, like a gold colour. This was the other reel of PLA that Ultimaker sent to me with the printer. And it looks like this second print is underway. Very cool. Now this is going to be a long print. It was something like 23, 24 hours. Maybe even longer than that, I can't remember what it said on the display now, in all my excitement. But let's leave this printing and see what happens. printing overnight and it has finished and look at the detail on this vase it looks absolutely amazing I'm almost speechless I can't wait to get this removed from the printer and we'll take a closer look we have had success you can see the vase sitting up on the shelf behind me here this was printing for a total of approximately 30 hours I left it printing overnight and it is a great success I'm so so happy I'd be lying if I didn't say I was nervous throughout the whole print and I didn't sleep great last night because I'd left the printer going sort of unattended but to wake up to this result is unbelievable it really is let's take a closer look now this vase measures about 12 and a half centimeters in height and look inside look the fluted design it is just unbelievably detailed and there's no rough pieces or anything this is straight off of the printer I haven't done any alterations to this at all no cleaning up nothing and there's no sort of sharp bits look at the bottom nice and smooth on the bottom and the detail is just amazing I am so so happy it's just ecstatic about how this has turned out now this particular vase is only my second print so I wouldn't suggest that you try something quite this complicated for your second print but the reason I did this I explained at the beginning of the video it is my wedding anniversary coming up so this is going to form part of my gift to my wife along with some flowers of course and a nice meal now I was intending to actually spray it with like a cream colored sort of plastic coat and I was going to do it inside and outside but I really like the gold color it looks so nice and I like the fact that the light transmits on it so nicely 
it is just amazing. Watching this print is very, very mesmerizing. And if I could have stayed awake for the whole 30 hours, I would have done. But this has just really heightened my enjoyment of 3D printing in such an early stage as well for me. So I just can't, I'm almost lost for words again. This is amazing. And I really do think that my wife is gonna love it as her wedding anniversary gift. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget, stay tuned to the Geek Noise channel for more great geeky and tech content, including, of course, more 3D printing. I'll see you next time.